Hey guys, it's your girl Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on the channel. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a Hobby Lobby planner haul. But first, how are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing well. It's been a minute since I've posted, but I am back. And for all my people that love the paper planning stuff, I got you. For my people that are looking to dibble and dabble into digital planning, I got you. And I'll be doing a follow-up video about my journey with Notion and what led me back to paper planning and not 100% digital. So let's go ahead and get right into this haul. So I went to Hobby Lobby. I want to have a planner, a physical planner. And my latest purchase is this Marc Jacobs tote bag. And I'm like, okay. If you're going to be carrying that around, you can fit your planner and bring it with you. Because that's one of the things that I wasn't doing is that I didn't bring my planner with me. And I don't feel like I really had specific goals for the day. I feel like I'm someone that can run off a to-do list. But I feel like for the consistency that I needed in my life right now, having a planner that is going to give me daily goals and daily to-dos and daily reflections is what I need. I need that space to write it down. Because it's something about putting the pen to paper that digital just cannot it can't it can't take it away so i got a happy planner shocker i was not planning to buy a happy planner but hobby lobby i didn't want to get um their actual planner i was looking for a spiral version but i didn't want to get their planner because um because their planner is the paper studio line is more of a ring bound planner and i don't want a ring bound planner so this one is actually one from happy planner that i've never seen before it is undated and let me go ahead and take a look as i'm taking it apart i haven't looked at like really any of this stuff i looked at it briefly in the store so this is the four month planner undated with a daily page layout so dailies being that that's what I need isn't it cute and the cover says it's okay to grow slow and one thing I'm realizing about myself is that I have a lot of toxic traits and these are things that I have um put into my they've become a part of me as a defense mechanism and what happens when you put up defenses is that it can affect your relationships with people. And I feel like that's a lot of the reason why I am introverted is because I want to protect myself. So these are all things that I'm discovering. Well, I should say that I have discovered already, but that I am actively trying to change. And this quote right here, it's okay to grow slow, is because sometimes when we're trying to change things, we want it to just happen but we have to accept the fact that it happens gradually like you can't go zero to 100 in certain situations it just it's a slow process so this is literally a reminder for me to just take it easy and if i'm if i've acknowledged something about myself and i'm trying to actively change it it's gonna be a process but i can't just try to do it overnight and then things don't pan out and then fall back into the same toxicity before like that's that's not healthy and it's not helpful so with my Cricut I'm probably gonna cut out a vinyl with my name here and then on the back there is a noted page and I'm going to use this as an inspiration board and then we have the monthly calendar so it the days are there which is good so you have the monthly calendar and i bought some sticker um some number stickers and then over here in the notes i could put like my win of the month or something like that but i like that this is a four month planner because again i have issues with commitment so i'm thinking of this as what was it january february march april so then may june july august so this is the second quarter is it January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December? Well, we're, no, we're into, if we did trimesters, it's three trimesters. 
So if I did May, June, July, August, then if I decided to continue with this planner, it would be for September, October, November, December. So that actually works out. But quarters are every three months. So this is for the next trimester, um, May to August. So I am going to commit to this planner for the next four months. And that just sounds like a lot saying it. So I've, I've, I've talked a lot about my reasoning for this. All right. Then I also got... So this planner was $24.99, they said. But again, everything was 50% off, so I got it for $12.50. And then this, I decided to just get the smaller paper because the bigger pack was $12. But this, I only ended up paying $2.50 for. And I can just stick it right into the... Um, into the planner this is meant for the mini happy planner but i could just stick it into the planner all right then i got two sticker books and this is where i was shocked that the happy planner stuff was on sale because i ended up paying uh eleven dollars i think for this eleven dollars hobby lobby don't be having sales like that for happy planner stuff so yeah this was 22 they up their price because they used to sell these for 19.99 but i got the walk by faith sticker book and here's all the stickers that are inside of it so i'm excited to use this and i wanted the walk by faith one as a reminder and it's quite a bit of variety inside of here i'm not gonna sit here and say i'm gonna use every sticker because i'm probably not um and then this one that i got from the paper studio line i really really liked it because it has the days of the week and because this is an undated planner and i'm going to be using this daily i can set up each month with the stickers and then i'm good to go so I'm taking this lovely, could I have probably used a cutter for this? Sure. Um, oopsie. I'll just go under here and tape it. All right, so this one has, you have the numbers, which I said would be good for the monthly. And then you have all of the, different days of the week stickers which are going to come in so handy i don't have to write them all the time so for nine bucks can't can't complain um as for my memory planning i haven't done any and i just came back from a uh, vacation and i haven't done any uh, memory planning but you guys can feel free to catch up with all that stuff follow me on tiktok at lakia maria underscore or check me out on instagram at Lakia Maria. I have all the information in the description box. But that is all that I got. I will be sharing more of this with you guys as I set it up and use it and all that good stuff. So, four items for 3701 when it could have been almost $70. It was meant for me to go to Hobby Lobby today because I was tempted to buy a $20 planner in Barnes and Noble and I just got a whole setup here for $37. So, all right, there we go. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, just wanna chat, let's chat in the comments. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box. I'll try to find links to all these items if you guys are interested in checking them out. And yeah, we're back to paper planning again and I'm back. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys are all doing well and that you have been well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Bye guys.